a quick tutorial on binary, decimal and hexadecimal. From a young age uh, we are taught about the numbering system uh, which contains values from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now if you notice here on the left that is exactly 10 values so for every placeholder that we have so if each one of these C, D, E and F were placeholders of these all here were placeholders. Each of these can be a value from 0 up until 9. Now, oh, <laughs> yeah, so um, literally 0 through to 9 is so the maximum number there. These are considered units. Now, the reason why it's considered units is because it's actually 10 possibilities to the power of 0. Okay, I actually don't know how to do a power of 0 here shortly, so I'm just going to do a copy 2, which is a way that you can represent to the power 2. Sorry should be to the power of 0. Okay, so ten, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so these first block is considered units. Now if we had 9 here, the next biggest unit would be 10s, which is 10 to the power of 1. Same thing, 99 would be the biggest number we could store, so 9 tens, which is 90, plus 9, which gives us the understanding of 99. We then look at 10 to the power of 2, which would be hundreds, and so forth, it would then go up to thousands, ten thousands, etc., etc., etc. That's ten to the power of three, ten to the power of four, and this would be the values as it would go up. Okay, now this is for your decimal in the way that we all used to talk counting. Now, the next one is a binary. Now, binary is the computer counting system and it only consists of the values 1 and 0 so 0 being the lowest, 1 being the highest so now we work at a similar system I'm going to use a little bit more blocks this time and we are now looking at uh, okay, we are now looking at where we could have uh, again, this would now be we have two possibilities it could be 0 through 2, 1 and the, these are two different possibilities to the power of 0 which is units. The maximum value we could have in this placeholder is 1, so the next biggest value is 2, which is also 2 to the power 1. Now, biggest number here is if we had 1, 2, and we had 1, 1, that is equal to 3. 3. Now, Next placeholder, so if we have 3, the next placeholder would be 4, because it's 1 larger than 3, which would then be 2 to the power of 2. If we had now I had 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 1, that would be 7, so the next biggest, 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. Okay, we can carry this on. Um, and you'll see Excel should probably follow the, obviously just doubles each time. <laughs> okay, doesn't like that. Okay, you know, it's 16, 32, 64, 128. 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6, and 2 to the power of 7. Okay, so this gives you a basic, and when you are trying to figure out which number this is, Let's say we had the number 12 and we wanted to work out uh, what the binary of that would be. All we would do is we would see go down here, 128 doesn't go in there, 64 doesn't go in, 32 doesn't go in, 16 doesn't go in there, 8 does. So if one, if we have 1, 8, we would subtract it from 12, which would give us, which would give us uh, 4, we would then have 1, 4, which we would subtract from 4, which would give us 0, and then we have 0, 2s, 0, 1s. So the binary number for uh, 12 would be the following. Okay, now, next one is your hexadecimal. <laughs> okay, I can't actually even spell hexadecimal, but hexadecimal. That looks better. Oh, yeah. Anyway, hexadecimal, exact same principle applies 0, 1, 
so now what happens is it goes all the way down to 16 options now there's no no uh, 16s so a b c d e f now you'll notice that this would then a would represent 10 uh, b 11 uh, c 12 and f 15 so the letters represent the additional uh, additional numerical values to it so it's 16 different possibilities so now, with counting of this, again if we use a couple, I'm not going to use too many, if we use uh, this amount here, now that our possibilities in the first area are 0 to 16, sorry 15, which is otherwise known as F. So now, our first placeholder is always to the power of 0, so 16 to the power of 0 is always 1's. So it's units. So if we have 15 ones, our next biggest is 16, which is 16 to the power one. Now, on from there, I actually don't know what 16 to the power two is. So I'm just going to quickly do a calculation. So if we have one, 16, 15 sixteens, and 15 ones. So basically, if this was false, so if this had an F in it. The next biggest number would be 16. If this was FF, that would be equal to 16 times 15 plus 15 times 1. So that would be in total 255. So the next biggest number is 256, which is 16 to the power 2. Now again, if we had FFF, so this is the largest number we could contain in there, we would then add to this equation uh, 15 times 255, which would, whoa, brackets pear-shaped. Okay, I didn't close brackets here. Which would give us 4080, so this would be 4081, which I'm going to correct is 16 to the power 3. Okay. Um, so this is how the hexadecimal system works, and again the exact same way as you do with binary and whatnot. Um, you'll see that the exercises given to you will also have uh, addition and that items. I would like you guys to try to figure that out on your own. Good luck.